So this is their first match of the day. Gotcha. And Dev Ocean 2 owed uh, ES and then Sub Suburster? Suburster? Yeah, sure. sure. But we are going to see the Biscuit on the Cloud and Dev Ocean on the Daisy. Uh, okay. Let's see how this one's going to go because I feel like Peach is also a character that has been on the come up lately in the champion of uh, Link Link or Ling now. Yeah, so Ling been doing a lot of work and has and has gotten some, some good results, particularly recently, has gotten like a level up. Um, but yeah, we do know that um, this character uh, has a lot of stuff that you can really rely on. However, uh, as floaty as you are, um, your, your aerial presence might be diminished a little bit by the gigantic Buster Sword. Yeah, for sure. I feel like uh, Daisy, and, or Peach and Daisy, but mostly Peach, has always struggled versus sword oh. characters just like that in any Smash game. But the fair dunk, absolutely brutal, especially because Dev had so much percent build up. It doesn't even matter. Back air not going to be able to take it. But Biscuit here just looking to extend the lead, and they're doing a really good job of doing these recoveries out of shield because they're so sometimes really painful to deal with. Right, and what I'm hoping is that uh, LaBiscuit, while in the lead, doesn't start over-relying on some of the uh, the simplest out of shield options like Uppy. Uh, those are going to be a little bit harder for him to connect because uh, Daisy is rather floaty, right? She can drift in and out and kind of make herself a little bit more elusive, which is ever so uh, necessary against this character. As we've already seen, a quick stock being taken. Uh, now, LaBiscuit at 178. This is uh, a, lot of, uh, a lot of risks. And finally, we're getting some reward from Dev Ocean. Yeah, looking really, really good so far from uh, Dev. At least bringing it back because that first stock was a little brutal. But now Dev gonna play it a little bit more passively. Unfortunately, gonna throw the turn up the wrong way, which gives the biscuit some time to get some limit. But unfortunately, uses the cross slash a little high up, but still able to get somewhat of a percentage on. Yeah, a lot of people kind of a, a bit of a knowledge check. If you think that it's your turn after limit cross slash, uh, I got it, some news for you. <laughs> uh, it's not gonna always be that easy. And right now, the biscuit uh, is getting caught by some of this stuff and. Uh, has to be careful. That lead that they had, not really going to help them out uh, and get them much farther here. Yeah, very true. Good run up grab, though, from Biscuit here. And the limit all charged up, just waiting to see what the option is. But Dev is a little nervous, too. Not going to get the break. But once again, what I really like about Biscuit's gameplay is that they're always willing to throw out another option as soon as that limit is over. Yeah. For sure, and you got to do it because, again, you know that's in theory seems like a great time to kind of go in against him. But this edge guard is where I need to see the difference being made up. Uh, Peach and Daisy have some great tools, not enough turn to play, I don't think. No, definitely not as well. Back air, not gonna do much here. Just trying to find a way down. The back air at this point will definitely KO if it's hit in the perfect like sweet spot of it. But once again, Dev is unsure at this point. I feel like they've done so much in the neutral to rack on percent, and then Labiska just comes in with just like a one or two piece combo, and it's just back to even. Right, and with the disjoint, uh, it gives you a lot more freedom to work with. However, um, I want to see if we're getting something here. The hesitation is getting called out. The motion sitting in shield for a long time, and for good reason. LaBiscuit has been putting on the pressure. Yep. All right, Stitch Face is live. Let's see what Dev's going to be able to do with it. It is last stock, unfortunately, just going to be thrown away at that point. Can't, if you can't find the option, you might as well just move on to the next, right? Yeah, I mean, it makes sense. Right now, um, Limit is fully charged, which means you got to be careful. Don't, yep, yep, just disengage. Just don't, uh, <laughs> don't throw anything else out in that moment. Just let him get his hit and move on. Yep. All right, here we go. The Dev going to be able to find the opening with the up air to the fair. Finds another up air. Get the turn up toss. Peach Bomber, the Daisy Bomber, I should say. Yeah. Good snap to ledge, though, by LaBiscuit. And now this is really scary for Dev. Oh. OK, Parasol is absolutely crazy for that, that one. That was so clutch in that moment. Like, again, that drift really saved him. But uh, I like it. The turn of play is starting to elevate. We need to see it come a little bit harder. And see, uh, OK, now we're getting a, a side beat to, to catch these. But um, where we hadn't been seeing very much side beat, if he had gone down, if he'd gone down with that second hit of Clown Hazard, that probably would have done uh, some serious damage. Yeah. Ooh, OK, the turn of toss nice. catch into the fair, solid by Dev, bringing that all the way back. But once again, you talked about this a little bit earlier. If the second hit of the Climb Hazard came out, that definitely could have been game. 
Yeah, because I mean, I don't think even if he had held out, I, I think that like he probably would have been caught by that. But that first hit uh, of the fair, the first stock being taken by that, that was a bit of a damper on what Devotion was looking to bring to the table. But it just uh, it ended up getting a lot more even, and he pulled it back. For sure. Terry. Terry. <sighs> well, you know what? The FGC characters in this game. They're crazy, so mm. this does not surprise me. But yeah. honestly, if you want to talk about characters that combo, Terry's definitely one of them. Yes, and not just that, but uh, creates so much pressure in the air, right? A lot of uh, Terry's best tools are sharking, and they are anti-aerial options. Um, against uh, Daisy on FD, that's going to be really important. Yeah, I, I actually disagree with the stage pick uh, really? here from Wizkid. I actually feel like you give Peach all these options to get the Nair combos going, and there's no real like escape in a platform. I mean, you do have the power guys are coming out yeah. now, and you're at over 100%, but I feel like what we saw last game is the same thing from what we're seeing now. Nair from ledge, though, looking good from death. Great start. Yeah, that overextension did not help you at all. You just overcommitted to an option, and I like the reversal. Devotion just knew what they had to do there. Very true. Here we go. Lebiscuit just trying to find a way in. Going to go for the bird knuckle. Going to get punished accordingly, though. And here we go. I mean, Dev is just looking really solid. They're not really giving Lump Biscuit much to work with. A lot of these run and turnaround grabs have also been stellar. Yes, and incredible awareness, right? Forcing into shield. That's the conditioning at work, and we're looking at uh, looking at it right now. Whoa! The catch with the air dodge actually hurting you in the end because the smash attack comes out, and Dev Ocean now uh, off to a fiery lead. This combo, 63% off the back, looking for something more. What happened? Dev also had the correct read on the air dodge as well. Just came out a little late. LaVisca finally going to be able to get their first stock here. But once again, 70% on your last stock game too. And you got a full, you know, two stocks to go through on Dev and Daisy at this point. But of course, going to be able to stabilize just a little bit. Here comes LaVisca once again, doing a really good job of keeping Dev on the ledge right now. But how do you make all of this back? Yeah, it's so tough. And it's going to be all up to the footsies. And I like it so knowing that you're at the distance where you can connect with that hit after the uh, the clang of the side B on the shield. I, I definitely respect it, and this is great. You're close and now have go. Uh, this is where things get interesting. Uh, some Terry's go really hard on the go options, and I don't always re recommend that because it's <laughs> like, let's be real. Uh, we all know what you're looking for. You're looking for the Buster Wolf. That is at least uh, something you can combo into, which is good. Here we go, 65% coming out on Dev. Here we go, LaBiscuit just trying to find another option in. I feel like the power guys are to call out maybe some of the floats would be fine, yep. but the, raw the Buster, Buster Wolf? Wolf, not going to do it quite yet. You okay. know Dev is going to be kicking themselves for losing two stocks to one Terry, but I feel like this is how it goes. Yeah, yeah, going to yeah. be able to get the full hop back air, and that is going to be a 2-0 for Dev Ocean. Really great each play, solid, solid. Absolutely, particularly when they get some of those great turn of conversions like yeah. Oh my god, like it was looking so clean. Uh, and it was kind of like interspersed with like some good patient play, but yeah. um, whenever he got in the driver's seat, you would see that he took a lot and actually was so, it was able to gain so much ground and leverage for those moments. But I mean, I, I definitely think that one of the one of the vulnerabilities of, uh, of the FGC characters, among others, uh, is that, you know, one mistake can lead to certain death, Yeah. right? You whiff one grab and that's <laughs> it. And uh, that's exactly what happened in that last moment because uh, we know that this was, in theory, a good idea, uh, but it just, you know, was mistimed. And then yeah. all of a sudden, uh, LaBiscuit just ended up, you know, losing the whole the whole set for it. Yep. Very, very, very true. Well, once again, welcome to Pound 2022. We are getting our next match up uh, right. to bat very soon. But once again, this is a multi-stream experience. I, this is such elevator music know, to me I right know, now. I, I feel like I'm like pitching it. You can find all of the streams on VG Bootcamp 1, 2, and 3 in your island vacation. That's right. That's right. You <laughs> uh, too can get your Nook Miles. Yeah, if you get enough Nook Miles. Uh, 